Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great day today. It is Wednesday, April 14th. Let's look at our calendar. Here we go. We've got our kitten calendar right here. Let's find the 14th. We've got the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. That's us right there. It is the 14th. If we go straight up, we see the abbreviation for Wednesday. Wednesday the 14th. And at the very bottom, it says April 2021. Well, we've got two fun books to look at today. This first one is called Arthur's Pet Business. This is a great book. Let's look at it. Arthur's Pet Business. You've been looking at puppies for months, said DW. When are you going to ask mom and dad if you can have one? I'm waiting for just the right moment, said Arthur. So promise not to say anything. Ooh, they're looking at puppies at the pet store. He said, DW, don't say anything. That night at dinner, father asked, what's new? DW says, Arthur wants a puppy. Blabbermouth, said Arthur. A puppy is a big responsibility, said father. I can take care of it, said Arthur. We'll think about it, mother said. That means no, explained D.W. After dinner, mother and father did the dishes. Can you hear what they're saying, asked Arthur. They're worried about the new carpet, whispered D.W. Suddenly, the door opened. We've decided you may have a puppy, if you can take care of it, said father. Wow, said Arthur, but said mother, first you need to show us that you're responsible. How will I ever prove I'm responsible, asked Arthur. The best way I know is to get a job, said DW, then you can pay back the seven dollars you owe me. Ka-ching, went her little cash register. Arthur wondered what kind of job he could do. You could work for my dad at the bank, said Muffy. He needs some new tellers. Or if I were you, I'd get a job at Joe's Junkyard, crushing old cars, offered Blinky Barnes. Ooh, that'd be a good fun job too. Do something that you'd like, said Francine. That gave Arthur an odd idea. I'll take care of other people's pets, said Arthur. Then mom and dad will know that I can take care of my own. Arthur and Francine put up signs to advertise his new business. His family helped too. Oh, everybody's putting up signs. Arthur waited and waited, and then just before bedtime, the phone rang. Hello, he said, Arthur's pet business, how may I help you? Yes, no, when, where, great, said Arthur. So he's talking on the phone. Let's find out what happens. Hooray, I'm going to watch Mrs. Wood's dog while she's on vacation and I'll earn $10. Oh no, said DW, not nasty little Perky. Isn't that the dog man, isn't that the dog the mailman calls Jaws, asked father. That's Perky, said DW. Oh no, sounds like Perky's a bad dog. The next morning, Arthur ran all the way to Miss Wood's house. Right on time, said Miss Wood. Grr, said Perky. Grr. She hasn't been herself lately, said Miss Wood. I'm worried. Well, I'll take good care of her, said Arthur. We'll be best friends. Grr, growled Perky. Here's her schedule and a list of things to you she doesn't like, said Miss Wood. And I'll see you next Sunday. So yeah, Miss Wood is leaving town. Let's find out how it goes. Arthur did his best to make Perky feel at home. Every day he brushed her teeth, he tried to fix her favorite foods, and they took lots of long walks, day and night. Perky made sure that they had the whole sidewalk to themselves. You see Perky chasing off the mailman right there. You look exhausted, said Mother. Maybe taking care of a dog is too much work. Any dog I get will be easier than Perky, said Arthur. Yeah. Word of Arthur's pet business got around. On Monday, the Macmillions asked Arthur to watch their Canary Sunday. 
<laughs> on Tuesday, Prunella gave Arthur her ant farm, and on Wednesday, the brain asked Arthur to take care of his frogs while he went on vacation. Wow. Best of all, though, on Thursday, the amazing Larry asked Arthur to keep Cuddles, his trained boa constrictor. Oh, my goodness. Animals were everywhere until Mother put her foot down. I want all of these in the basement now, she ordered. Oh, wow, there was too many pets. By bedtime, all the pets were downstairs, all except Perky. Perky slept in Arthur's room. On Saturday, Buster asked Arthur to go to the movies. I can't, said Arthur. When I finish cleaning these cages, it will be feeding time. And anyway, it's Perky's last night with me, and she seems sick. I don't want to leave her. Well, I bet you're happy today, said D.W. the next morning. You get to get rid of Perky and collect $10. I can't believe it, said Arthur, but I'm going to miss Perky. Oh, he's going to miss Perky. Arthur, Miss Wood just called to say she's on her way over, said Mother. Now, wait here, Perky, ordered Arthur. I'll go and get your leash. When Arthur went back into the kitchen, Perky was gone. Here, Perky, here, Perky, called Arthur. But Perky didn't come. She's not in the basement, called Father. She's not in the backyard, said C.W. She's lost, said Arthur. Oh, no, said D.W., you're in big trouble. Oh, no, Arthur's in big trouble. Perky's missing. Just then, Arthur, Miss Wood is here, called Mother. Hi, Miss Wood, said D.W. Guess what? Arthur lost Perky. Oh, no. Miss Wood's like, oh, no. My poor little darling is lost, asked Miss Wood. Don't worry, said Father. Arthur's looking for her right now. Suddenly, they heard a bark. Everyone come quickly, said Arthur. Look, said Arthur. Perky's had puppies. No wonder she's been acting so strange, said Miss Wood. You've done a wonderful job taking care of Perky. When she needed a friend the most, said Miss Wood, how can I ever thank you? A reward would be nice, suggested D.W. Shh, said Mother. Here's the money I owe you, said Miss Wood. And how would you like to help one of per have one of Perky's baby puppies as a special thank you? I'd love to, said Arthur, if I'm allowed. Well, of course, said Mother, you've earned it. So he got to get his own puppy. Wow, said Arthur, $10 and my very own puppy. I can't believe it. Neither can I, said D.W. Now you can finally pay back my $7. Good ching went her cash register. Oh, and there's the puppy right there. Oh, sweet. That was a great book. That was called Arthur's Pet Business. Well, the next book we're going to look at is a really nice one. It's called, Shh, I love this book. Let's look at it. A little shrew had wonderful news. He wanted to tell the whole world, but it was too noisy. Oh, and here's all the noises in the world. Bang, bang, patter, clang, clang, pitter, patter, clatter, chatter. Oh, yeah, it's so noisy. The shrew had a great big thing to say, but he only had a very small voice. No one could hear him above the noise. Yeah, and you see all the noises right here. It says thump, thump, grumble, bump, mumble. Wow. The shrew waited all day. He waited all night for quiet, but it never came because there's all these noises around him like boo hoo hoo. Yeah. And over here, moo and how and bow wow. Morning came and the shrew shouted his news from the roof, but nobody heard him because they were all so loud with all of these sounds. And it says, snip, snap, plip, plap, drip, drip. Oh my goodness. He went to the bottom of the valley and tried again, but still no one heard him. Oh, because you see all of their sounds still going. It says, plop, plop, clip, clop, buzz, buzz, boring, boring, brum, brum, pop. 
<laughs> oh, goodness. There's all of these sounds going on, and he's still trying to communicate his message to everybody. The shrew stood on the mountaintop. He threw back his head and said, Shh, I know the secret to peace on earth. But nobody heard the shrew. The world was too noisy. Oh, with all of these noises. Zoom, 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 vroom, vroom. Aka, 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 boom, boom, boom. Oh, wow, the world is so busy with all of these sounds. But the shrew never gave up. He hoped that one day his voice would be heard. Maybe if we count to three and keep very, very quiet, perhaps we'll hear him. Shall we try? All together now. One, two, three, Wonderful news. You have made a little bit of peace. Imagine if everyone in the world sat still and listened just like that. One, two, three. Shh. There would be peace on earth. That is the secret, or so I've heard. That was a fun book. That was called. Shh. I like that book. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye friends. Have a great day.